This week's Iron MPI is Worth Electronics, brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thank you so much, DigiKey. Lady Ada, what is this week's newest, latest, greatest? From Worth. Yeah. It's, it's a high Worth Electronics. Um, so I'm excited uh, because we knew about these. Um, but we can talk about them because, of course, they were secret. But Worth Electronic has come out with a series of feather wings. Um, that's right, you know Adafruit because we've been making feathers. I actually looked it up, it was Maker Faire 2015 when we first showed off uh, the first few uh, feather designs that we came up with and feather wings. We had the um, feather uh, 32U4s and the feather ESP8266. And um, when we published feather, we made the spec open source, basically. We published it and said, hey, anyone can use this. You can even use the word feather feather wing as long as you're compatible. Um, just don't be a jerk uh, and, and say it is when it isn't. And um, what's neat is that because it's been so platform agnostic, you know, if you're going to get a Nucleo board, it has to come from ST. And if you get an Energia board, it's going to be an MSP430. But with Feather, um, we support everybody from, um, you know, Maxim and Analog and Atmel and Microchip and TI and ST, um, you know, and Nouveauton and, and Espressif and Nordic and, and everybody. And so it was cool to see uh, worth jump in and making um, these accessory feather wings because, you know, Worth, I don't think they have a microcontroller family. And so this allows them to say, look, as long as you have something that's Arduino compatible uh, and you have a, something that's feather compatible, um, you can use our feather wings. So uh, there's a couple. So this is the sensor feather wing. Oh, and I wanted to just point out, um, sorry, this is the guide for Adafruit Feather. So check it out. We recently updated it because it lists a whole bunch of feathers as well as our awesome feather wing. Um, it has a link to the awesome feather wing list, which is like a, a huge community of non Adafruit made feathers. Um, so the first feather wing, they made four. The first one is the sensor feather wing, um, which I also physically have here. And it's got pressure, humidity, accelerometer, temperature, and humidity. It's also got a uh, quick stomach UT uh, connectors on the bottom. Um, it comes pre-soldered, ready to go. So you can just plug it into your uh, favorite feather. Um, it comes with all these sensors and they all communicate over I squared C. So you can pop this onto literally any feather because all of them have I squared C connectivity um, to add a huge range of sensors from Worth. Um, they also publish schematic in the schematic in the data sheet, which is really handy, uh, which has all the part numbers. And there's also um, the board files as well, though I didn't download them. Um, but basically they publish everything. They're like, look, we want you to use this as an eval board. And um, this is a working schematic that you can use. The next board, um, I thought this was interesting, is this is, can, sorry, can you enlarge it? I want to remember how to spell it. It's the ty, Thion, hot Thion. Um, this is a uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, mesh network chip. So it's that little module at the end there. Um, and this is what you would use if you don't necessarily want to have, you want to have a low power mesh network uh, you know, Wi-Fi isn't mesh. If you want to have a sensor node, maybe all these sensors, you know, using that sensor feather wing, and then you want to distribute data around a mesh network, um, this is a meshing module that makes it really easy um, to use. Also comes in a feather wing format, um, and you communicate with the um, radio module over UART. So all of our feathers also have UART, and then. Um, there's an ATECC 608, which is a, a common uh, encryption, uh, pub, you know, private key uh, storage device from um, Atmel Microchip. And that communicates over I squared C, uh, and there's Arduino libraries for that. So between the two of these, you can basically have authenticated um, mesh networks that have unique identifiers. Uh, also, the schematics are published for this. And this is basically designed to be a um, dev board to demonstrate the, the Thion or Thion uh, mesh module. Um, the next module, I thought this was kind of cool. So this is like this, it's called like a magic power feather wing. Uh, and this uses, um, Worth Electronics makes a lot of power modules. So this is a step down module. Um, so you can see those, all those capacitors and um, connectors and uh, inductor in there. And this basically will take um, up to, I think, 24 volts input and do uh, buck conversion, bring it down to five volts and also three volts. So 
basically if you're using your feather or feather wing in an industrial environment, like let's say um, one of those low voltage trains we were just talking about that run on 32 volts, um, you could wire this up and basically have a, a train sensor uh, module and uh, you wouldn't have to worry about um, power supply and it can power the rest of the feather and the mesh network, uh, what have you. Of course, you can also use a LiPo battery as all feathers do, but if you want to, you know, we don't currently have a feather wing that will let you take 24 volts and bring it down to five. So this is quite handy um, to do so. Also the um, schematic is here, but you can see it's basically a, a power module with an alternate uh, power input. And then lastly, um, there is a Calypso Wi-Fi feather wing. So this is a Wi-Fi module uh, that you can use to um, connect you know, to the internet securely. Uh, it uses uh, UART and there's an Arduino library. Uh, so it has AT style uh, command structure, which is really common. And they have Arduino libraries for it if you'd like. So this uses UART. So you can't really use this and the mesh wing at the same time. So kind of use one or the other, unless you have two UARTs and you can rewire it. For the most part, you just kind of pick one or the other. Um, and uh, this is basically how it connects, basically just over uh, UART, you send AT commands to connect, you know, make a socket, connect, send data, open and close it. You can also act as a uh, web browser. And then of course, uh, here's the documentation for how it's uh, wired up and put together. So you can use the Calypso module. And then there is a video, we didn't show the video because it's, it's like 15 minutes long, but there is a video on the uh, Worth YouTube channel to check out where they take a M0 feather and they plug it into the Wi-Fi and the sensor feather wing and they basically make uh, a fully interactive um, post and get web service, web browser. So the web service is on the feather M0, uh, connects to Wi-Fi securely with the Calypso Wi-Fi weather wing and then you can read the sensors and set the LEDs so it's read and write uh, with a custom uh, Wi-Fi interface. And uh, if you want to use this, again, because Worth doesn't make the microcontroller board, you would use a Feather M0, a Feather M4, you know, an NRF52840, maybe on a Bluetooth, and then uh, check out uh, their GitHub repo where they have code for the sensor, Wi-Fi, and uh, mesh Feather wings. They have example code um, for all of them. And in, they're in platform I.O. specified format, but they should work just fine in Arduino as well. You just have to drag and drop that into your library folder. Available at DigiKey. They are in stock, all four of them, four different types. And I can show it on the overhead yeah. real fast. So, boom. My Sharpie. So this is the uh, sensor feather wing. So on the bottom, uh, it's got all this documentation. I if you can focus in on it. Um, uh, the humidity sensor has a nice cutout um, for temperature and humidity so that the, there's no self-heating. Um, they come with stacking headers, which is great uh, because you can take, you know, your feather and, and pop it on top, especially if you have like a Wi-Fi feather, uh, you won't have anything in the way of the antenna. Um, or, you know, you can have uh, socket headers and this, this plugs on top. And then um, there's a quick connector here. So if you've got your, uh, you know, some other sensor you want to connect, um, or maybe encryption module, whatever, uh, over I2C, you just plug it in and you can extend that, or of course you can use this to just connect to um, an existing, like a Cutie Pie board, if you just want to use this as a uh, sensor module breakout. So that's the Worth sensor feathering. There is a part number, but by the way, it's extremely long, I can't remember it, so just type in Worth feathering and you'll find all of them. And that's I. Hi, on MPI.